Hello, welcome. My name is Ross Shirley, and I am the coordinator for Unified Arts for Columbus City Schools. And I just want to say welcome to the annual Columbus City School Days for Family, hosted by our wonderful collaborators and friends, the Columbus Museum of Art. Today is a day to celebrate our community, to celebrate our uh, partnership uh, with Columbus City Schools and the museum, and to give you an opportunity to see the wonderful art that your students have been engaged in and making um, at their schools. Uh, and I'm going to turn it over now to our host and MC for the day. It's uh, Ms. Pam Welsh Huggins, who is the Director of Vocal Music at Centennial High School. Good afternoon. I'm so happy to see you and to share two of my favorite things, art and music. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about Mr. Damacone before his beautiful group starts to play. Some of you probably already know a lot about him, but he's an amazing guy. Um, the students that you're seeing right here come from five different buildings, as some of you already know. They come from Clinton, Cranbrook, uh, Gables, Indian Springs, and Winterset, and I hope you are able to take a chance to look at some of the art because there's some really cool pictures by some of the Winterset kids out there. Um, these are schools that are in the Whetstone and Centennial Feeder pattern, so I hope that some of you will come and be in my choir when you're bigger. Um, they all began playing their string instruments in the fourth grade, and they've played for nearly two years. Some of them also play a band instrument. How many of you also play a band instrument? Awesome. These are multi-talented students. Well done, parents. Um, and in March, all of these kids played, uh, it performed in either the Clinton Hill Strings Festival, those are the kids from Clinton and Indian Springs, um, or the Northwest School Strings Festival, those are the kids from Cranbrook, Gables, and Winterset, alongside hundreds of other string players from all over the city, from grades four to 12 in their feeder pattern. So today, these students are some of the finest of the string players from all of these schools, and Mr. Damacone's kids are going to be sharing some of their greatest hits for, from the past year. So first of all, they're going to start out with a French folk song, um, and I will let them take it away. Ladies and jelly beans, this is the fifth grade strings ensemble conducted and played with by Mr. Travis Damacone. a couple of pieces that you are sure to recognize. The first one is Ode to Joy, which is Ludwig von Beethoven's famous melody from the last movement of his Ninth Symphony. And after that, your friends here are going to perform another French piece called Frère Jacques, which I bet everybody knows, and which they're going to play together then as a round. Another famous classical composer and child prodigy, which is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, 
wrote a melody that was used by, for many songs, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, the alphabet song, and the song that they will play last in this little triptych of wonder, uh, which is going to be Baba Ba Black Sheep. So please enjoy Ode to Joy, Frere Jaca, and Baba Ba Black Sheep. watching those beautiful bow movements. The artist Paul Clay once said, a dot, a, a line is a dot that has gone for a walk. And all of those beautiful lines make me think of, there's so many things that you can look for that look like that movement. There's a whole gallery here that's devoted to movement. Hope you all get a chance to see some movement after you get a chance to, visit, to enjoy your students um, playing these great pieces. Next one is one of my personal favorite songs. This is an American folk song called Bile Them Cabbage Down. The lyrics of the song talk about hoe cakes, which are little uh, cornmeal cakes that were baked over a fire on the blade of a hoe. A breakfast of hoe cakes and cabbage soup testifies to the humble origins of this song. They think that the piece is fun to play, and they ask you to please be sure to listen for the big surprise at the end. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bile Them Cabbage Down.
for those of you who are just arriving, this is Mr. Travis Damacone, and these beautiful students here are from Clinton, Cranbrook, Gables, Indian Springs, and Winterset Strings programs. Get another round of applause for these wonderful musicians. As they're being seated and getting ready, I just want to tell you a little bit more about their director. Mr. Damacone has taught in Columbus City Schools for eight years, and for the past four years, he's taught exclusively as an elementary instrumental music teacher, working with fourth and fifth graders, and uh, fifth grade string students, and fifth grade band kids. Um, as you've already heard, he's at five different schools, so this is a very busy man. Um, he's assisted with other music programs throughout the district, including the CCS All City Orchestra and CCS Saturday Strings Festival. He's also served on the staff of the Morning String Student Workshop at OSU. In addition, he serves on the Education Committee of the Columbus uh, Symphony Orchestra and was nominated this year for the CSO Music Educator Award in the elementary category. And for that nomination, another round of applause, please. And you might look at this guy who's so comfortable on the cello and say, well, that's really cool. What else can he do? Well, he's a professional French horn player. Uh, and he plays professionally in a number of orchestras throughout central Ohio. Uh, and he went to OSU <coughs> and the conservatory at the University of Cincinnati. One more fun fact about him. Uh, before he became involved in music, he loved drawing and painting. And in fact, he took art lessons at Kent State University and thought that he was going to be an artist for a while. How many of you guys think he might be an artist? Yeah, I thought so. You're all super artsy. Well done again, parents. All right, next up, we would like to present to you the D-String Rock. featured on the String Festival performance last month. The last two pieces that our friends here are going to be leaving with you are Cinnamon and Batman Meets Bowman. Bowman. Thank you. 
Thomas Damacone.